will tell you that Bolivia is one nation that has never been cracked with the gospel, never. A young Bolivian, only 20 years of age, from a very average Bolivian family, came to the United States as a pre-med student, registered at the Pasadena City College in Los Angeles. Someone invited him to the Shrine Auditorium when we were there for the service. Out of curiosity, he came. I do not know whether anyone to this very hour, I do not know whether anyone prayed with him. I do not know whether it was a personal worker. I do not know. I do not know the details, only the fact that he came, had never been in service like it. Sitting there, a pre-med student. Don't tell me God doesn't have a sense of humor. And before that service is over with, he received that beautiful spiritual experience, that new birth experience. He had never heard the gospel before. He went out of the shrine auditorium so thrilled with what he had seen and that which he's heard. The next month he came back again, but he didn't realize he had to come so early for a good seat. And when he got there for the next shrine meeting, the doors were locked. Because we have to lock the doors when 7,000 people are in. There are fire laws. When he got to there, the doors were locked and he couldn't get in. There were several thousand people on the outside standing there, unable to get in. And he was still so thrilled with his own marvelous experience. It was so beautiful, he didn't become discouraged. While I was on the inside of the Shrine Auditorium, preaching, he got himself a folding chair, and where he ever got that folding chair, no one will ever know. You understand, I have not to this very day, I have not spoken with him. That's the reason I can prove to you that I have nothing to do with these miracles. I'm the very last person to know about these miracles. Catherine Kuhlman has nothing to do with these miracles. I have nothing to do with these things that are happening today. Not one of you in this great auditorium has come to see Catherine Kuhlman. Not one of you. And no one knows any better than I. He got this folding chair. Standing on that folding chair, he began to tell those people the wonderful experience that he had had a month before. In broken English, he stood there and told them that for years he'd been seeking something that was satisfied. And while he was standing there telling them the best that he knew how of that which had happened to him, God in his tender mercy gave to him the gift of healing. Who can understand the mercy of God and the marvels of the things of Spirit? He went back to Bolivia. When I was in New York City, someone gave me this, its headline. Holy Spirit outpoured in Bolivia. The president of Bolivia saved. This has just happened. The president's wife of Bolivia has just been healed by the power of God. I have pictures that were given to me one week ago in Miami, Florida. The whole government is backing this young Bolivian as thousands upon thousands today, the very hour while I'm speaking to you, are being saved by the power of God. Here is an actual picture 
that was given to me in Miami just a week ago, the smallest crowds to whom he speaks to are 70,000. No stadium, there's no stadium in Bolivia that is large enough. With this picture, he said one, and remember, I have not seen him. The back of the picture, he says, to my mom in the Lord with love. I never dreamed I'd be the mother of a Bolivian son. <laughs> Greetings from your own son. Pray for me with love in Christ. This, my friend, hear me. This is that now. 